we are definitely on the road here. Today we're visiting a spot called the road in the middle, of, or excuse me, the grave in the middle of the road. This is where Nancy Curlin Burnett was buried, Barnett, excuse me, was buried in 1831. She lived around this area. She wanted to be buried overlooking this hill in Sugar Creek Hill area. So they buried her. This is before the road was uh, was here. And then they decided uh, later, several years later, they wanted to build a road around here. And the family didn't like that, especially the grandson. I think his name was Daniel Doty. So he stood by with a shotgun and held him held him off. And they did not build the road through. They did not assume the grave or build the road. Um, they just built the road around it. They left the grave here. So we're going to take a look at this grave real quick. Turn you around here. You can see you got a road here. It's kind of, it is definitely in the middle of the road. Definitely in the middle of the road. As you can see here, other people have uh, paid their respects. And that's the thing I want to do. I want to pay my respect to you, Nancy. Turn you around here. Nancy Carlin Barnett, May 14th, 1793, December 1, 1831. Not really, not real old, but as you can see, it's definitely, definitely in the middle of the road. We're on 700 east, or 400, I guess, 400 south, near Franklin. You can see there's a lot of uh, pennies and coins left here. So uh, we're paying our respect to you, well. Rest in peace, Nancy. We're gonna go back here. As you can see, it's definitely in the middle of the road around this area, so. Very interesting. Um, never seen anything like it, but. Uh, yeah, as you can see, here's the site. But I guess there's more to the story. I guess when they were going to widen this road, they removed the grave, or moved the remains of her temporarily so they can widen the road. And when they did it, they found the remains of six other people. Those names, I don't know what they are. I tried to find the names of those other six, but there was no, nothing to be found. So they removed all the remains to a secure location until they got the road finished. And then when they got the road finished, they brought them back and they put everything to rest there. So kind of an interesting story for sure. Um, so I just want to pay my respect to the family if you're out there, um, as well as the other remains of the people there that we don't know. So, it's interesting stuff you find out here, you know, in the, in your local area. And there's got a little abandoned house over here, too. I might, I'm going to check out and see if I can get to it or not. I don't know if I can. Um, don't know whose property this is, if it's what, but uh, I'm just going to show it to you. I probably won't go back there. It's pretty well grown. I'm not really dressed for it, but you can see right there, there's a little property back there. So, yeah, I might try to get through there. It's not real muddy, so. Pardon the shaky camera. I'm trying to get through here as easy as I can. But, uh, I don't know what resonance is, but it's definitely an old house. We are not going to go in there. It's definitely unstable, but. house here next to this grave I don't know if it's any kind of relation or not but now that is really thick back in there we're not going to go go back in there at all but uh, yeah that's uh that's it my friend oh just want to see what I could see back there not much now I gotta get my way through here but we'll up here and read this sign to you I'll explain it a little bit better than I did. The site was originally the burial place for Nancy Curlin Barnett, 1703-1831, an early Johnson County pioneer who moved to Blue River Township with her husband, William Barnett. She asked to be buried overlooking Sugar Creek, which according to family legend was her favorite spot. In the early 1900s, the county wished to build a gravel road and bridge in the area, but her family protected her grave to honor her final wish. As a compromise, the county eventually built a road around the grave. 
In 2016, archaeologists investigating the site after farmers sharing the impact of it discovered six additional remains after work to widen the road. The remains were re entered here below road level. It's pretty wild. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this day's uh, video. It's just a quick, short video, but I kind of wanted to show you this place, get you an idea of what it was, and tell a little about it. Like I said, it's kind of near Franklin, Indiana, right out here in the middle of nowhere in the county road 400, but uh, pretty interesting. So, hey, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you like what you, if you like the videos about different graveyards or things, another one down here to check out here, uh, the Jerome Cemetery. We did a video there. I'd like for you to see that as well. So be sure to check that video out too while you're here. So um, appreciate you again all watching. Um, I'm going to get out of here because, like I said, there's really not much place to park around here. You just got to kind of park off the side of the road. But uh, one last look at the grave. The grave in the middle of the road. All right. I appreciate it. Hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one real soon. Have a great day.